हो गया आई ओ एस हो गया एंड्रॉइड आप एक व्यक्ति नंबर बताओ मुझे चाहिए कि इस डिवाइस पे स्मार्टफोन है तो आपकी बिजनेस की फिगर्स जो है वो ट्रैक्ट सेकेंडली आपके पास आपका लिंक होना चाहिए आप बैठ के बंदा नहीं या दो तीन लोग नहीं बैठा सकते जब डिफरेंट कंपनीज के पैकेजेस चेक कर सकते तो आपके पास कंपनीज के साथ में लिंक होना चाहिए कि आपके पास ही अपडेट है तो यू नीड टू टॉक टू सम
Uh, we should be sharing that what successfully we made today, uh, how we uh, supported the uh, management of the sporting summit. Uh, then we have a place request. We have we have quite a few very simple questions that you can place name, location, quantity required, blood group, phone number, and when you require this blood. Uh, uh, then we have history update. Like you can uh, update your history so that what is your exact location. And uh, then we have blood ID. Like you can uh, share what uh, when you first made blood. Then you can tell uh, I I can also save life I, and I'm not a doctor. And then you can donate uh, in terms of money also if you you are not able to uh, give blood. Uh, we have profile updates. Uh, people can also recruit uh, donors from their circles. Like uh, I have family circle followers following, so I can also uh, try to get help from them. Uh, then we have feedback and uh, people can also donate services like people need to go from one place to another place. They can uh, hire services from other people in terms of time and in terms of uh, transportation. Uh, this is a simple landing page we created uh, for motivation of people and education of people about what is the issue and how can they help us uh, solve it. Uh, this is going to be like a combined story of uh, what we have done and what we have achieved. <coughs> Coming back to the presentation. Uh, this would be the this would be the admin site where people would be receiving calls and they would be mapping people onto the map and they would be finding minimal babble uh, like uh, what is the minimal distance from the person who is wanted. We have done computer analysis what uh, bar donor, similar blood donor recruitment hotlines are doing there, putting the people's data on a public sphere so anyone can access it, anyone can uh, get uh, data from it. Then we. We have done customer validation, but, uh, uh, but our question was what are the reservations that people are facing in terms of uh, why they don't want to donate blood. Uh, they have trust issues first of all, they don't trust the existing system. Uh, they have some phobias that they don't want needles to be inserted in blood. <coughs> then they have transport issues that they do want to donate blood, but they cannot go to a place to donate it. Uh, or they have IT issues or uh, 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 there are some miscellaneous issues that were uh, quoted in the survey. Would you donate blood to strangers? Uh, like we did the survey on the focus group, uh, uh, it was yes in 80% were willing to give blood. Would they uh, trust and uh, uh, give blood to our online hotline? Yes, 80% were willing. This is our uh, very first survey and uh, uh, 20 people missed the door over and over. Like what our business model is, we are charging for call charges, there are SMS charges, like people who would be calling okay, us. Thank you, we are out of time here. Thank you very much. Let's move on to Q&A. First question. Uh, when, you, when you talk about why people don't donate blood, I mean, you know, how, does, how does your app actually cover those? I mean, uh, how do you make sure that they actually do that? Actually, there is uh, two two motivation factors that we are giving them. Uh, first of the first of all, it is like uh, we are uh, letting them know real people who are getting blood. Like if I donate blood in a blood camp, uh, I don't know who is uh, getting benefits from it. But in this scenario, I am getting to know the real recipient who is going to have the blood. Yeah, we have done the financials. I, I haven't included it. I can show it in the. Like we are, uh, we are uh, expecting a 15 uh, lakh investment initial investment, and we are revenue quality of the second. Our second, yes. Yeah. Are you for profit? Uh, this is uh, this is non-profit because there is a bigger clash if we go for a profit-based uh, model because uh, blood donor recruitment is like based on the donors, like how many donors want to donate blood. So if I go for a profit, donors motivation would feel would be killed. There. This is a social entrepreneur idea. Uh, that. But and then secondly, how do you think the quantity uh, restricting yourself by just giving a app? No, we, um, we, we are also yes. arguing that uh, there should be feature phones, like people, people can uh, send an SMS to get an update. We will uh, call them back for a confirmation and we can uh, work on that. So I think in the competitor uh, comparison, I think there needs to be more competitors who are doing local work. Uh, yeah. There are quite a few who are actually doing it. Yeah. Like it's it's not the direct competition. We are trying to help people who are already helping them. Like the, our model was to help that all the work that is being done in this sector. We should be supporting it. We should be becoming a part of it. We don't want to be a competition. Uh, it, it's it's like uh, I I said in the second phase. We want to do it into a virtual sphere. 
not to like specify the number. So we will be routing it through a specific number. It would be a virtual. Is it cost for any area? Yes, there is a cost. It is cost. I can show you the fact.
covered by a company law. Uh, it, it can have a structure which is different, uh, it is differentiated between ownership and management. Uh, company would be treated as a separate legal person than your individual self. Uh, it will have an unlimited life and it will have a limited liability concept, which means that if the business makes losses, you will not be responsible for that. So, we, I think, next we will come, come to the conclusion that the strategic company, but which one? We can have a company limited by share, limited by guarantee, we can have an unlimited company. Within the limited by share, we can have private, public, in private we have single member, uh, we can have more than one member, in public we can have unlisted or listed. The rules would be usually you uh, establish a private limited company with more than one partner, one shareholder. Over the period of time, you will make it public company, you convert it to a public company, and then later on, when you are uh, maybe five years down the road, you will go for an IPO. So, uh, you start a company, uh, each of the founding partners put in a thousand rupees, and that is your equity. Uh, you get some friends, ask them for money, they put in their equity. Uh, you take loans from family, from friends. Uh, and then you incur expenses for office, for salaries, and hopefully you generate revenue. So all of that has to be recorded for a business, you know, for various reasons. Uh, once you have recorded that, you uh, generate a profit and loss amount. Uh, for monthly, on a monthly basis or yearly basis to track your you know, progress. Uh, you will have a balance sheet, how much equity has been uh, uh, injected, how much loan has been taken and you will, the most important in a business is cash flows. Cash flows make or break the business. You know, if you can honor your liabilities, your business will continue. If you cannot honor your liabilities, the business will fail. Accounts have to be prepared according to an international uh, financial reporting standard as per the company law. Uh, those have to be pre presented to the shareholders on an annual basis. Uh, for listed companies, a quarterly account should be presented along with the director report. And the account should be maintained for 10 years in the company's office. When once you have started a business, you need to have the accounts <coughs> audited annually and presented to the shareholders. The, uh, uh, the auditors will uh, have the right to inspect the books, inspect documents, inspect accounts, uh, ask for information, ask for explanation, and the auditors will give a report to the shareholders as to the true and fair view of the accounts. Not 100% correct accounts, not accurate accounts, but a true and fair view to the shareholders. However, the responsibility of preparation of accounts is still of the management. <laughs> when uh, you had three partners, you know, you, did you know that government is your fourth partner in your business? <laughs> so the government has the right to inspect your books, inspect your accounts, uh, see all the records. Uh, the government has the right to conduct an audit uh, by itself or through other uh, uh, account accounting companies. The government has a right in, uh, you know, uh, to share your profits. And also did you know that you thought you were working independently on your, on your, your own boss, but you also work for the government. <laughs> because you are an agent of the government while you are making payments to other people. For example, you are making payments to your employees. So the government asks you to deduct tax from the salaries of employees and pay to the government. Similarly, uh, you are paying your rent of your office, government requires you to act on his behalf and deduct taxes. You are buying furniture for your office, the government, uh, you are an agent of government and deducting taxes and depositing those into the treasury. Uh, you also have to uh, comply with uh, withholding statements uh, monthly and annual income tax returns. Well, um, we want you to focus on your business your idea, your creativity, product development and uh, we'll talk uh, two uh, ideas here and one social entrepreneurship idea. For one year so we are providing corporate services, public services, taxation and annual audit free of cost. Uh, we'll also provide uh, time with ourselves uh, for development of business plans, discussion of your financial model or any other assistance that is required to go through these. Uh, thank you, Arka.
Uh, and thank you for making it a little more entertaining because typically these are very boring topics, but I cannot emphasize more the significance of, of, uh, of these things. If you mess up uh, your startup on the legal grounds, on accounting grounds, on agreements, or whatever, um, it's a mess that's very hard to get out of. So, so take this advice very, very seriously. So we have uh, one more speech here. Um, startups are, are rather funny in that. Um, आप सोचते दिमाग दे लेकिन फैसले दिल से करते हैं। It's a game of love and passion। और जो कि मैं शायरी कर ही रहा हूँ तो एक और चीज यहाँ पे इस बात पे कहूँ कि रंग हो या फिश तो संग, संग हो या हर वो सॉफ्ट। वो जगह एक फन की है, होने जगत से न। Google Translate wouldn't do justice to this. It's really the second measure that's very really meaningful. In fact, I used to have this written on my, my wall for the longest time. Mojada is fun ki hai, hone jigat se na. If you're trying to go for excellence, uh, you know, you have to work really, really, really hard. You have to be very passionate about it. Or after Lahu thoda sa, you know, usko garmane ke liye, we have a motivation speaker here. Ame Saab is here, uh, who's, a, who's an entrepreneur, um, who's an investor. With the author, with the motivational speaker, uh, I think I'm really looking forward to this talk. Amit, I'm going to take it. Assalamu alaikum. Energy level is coming. Some things are looking good. So let's, you know, get a bit more excited. There's a first problem. Messi, you can hear me without the microphone, yes? Oh, I restricts my hand movement. As I know the introduction with the US, he forgot to tell you that I'm actually an accountant by profession. Accountants are meant to be dull, colorless and boring. That's why I had a purple run tie and said that I would like to differentiate you first. It's all about differentiation. It's all about differentiation. A better look would have been grey or blue, but you know, I thought. Anyway, I timed my talk before I came, so I'm going to take eight minutes if you don't interrupt me. Okay, you know, ten minutes yet? I should be done in eight minutes. Deliver my message that I want to give, and then let's move on with what we're really about. Entrepreneurship is my passion. I love talking about it. I love, you know, doing talks like this. But more than anything else, I'm an entrepreneur by nature. I've been in business for most of my life, and even in Pakistan, Ashkar, I'm actually not only starting my own consulting and training firm from scratch, all the things that lie in front of you, but I'm also working with lots of young people like you. We've actually invested in, IT in an IT company, which is forcing me to learn about this sector. And all the things that I've learned, I'm going to share some of those with you as well. Okay, and some of the things that we keep seeing, so you have to look up the presentation, they say, I'll also share with you, okay, what are some of the common problems that we're seeing? Now, we talk about IDF, we've actually progressed now, we've invested in, in this company, I'll just share some of my experiences with you. So, the focus of my talk is about entrepreneurship, and it's about you. So, I'll talk about you. If you look at the world anywhere in the world, the most successful people, people that we consider successful, those who have achieved a lot in their lives. What is one thing they have in common? Anyone like to guess? Yes? They don't give up. They don't give up. I'm looking for a more fundamental answer actually. Passion. Passion. But are most of them... Persistence. Persistence we have, thank you. Salesmanship. Salesmanship. Sara which have, but one fundamental point is, are they entrepreneurs or are they employees? Most of them are working for themselves, running companies, running organizations, and those are the most successful people. Pakistan may be taking Sydney be success stories and all the well to do businessmen. They're all entrepreneurs. A chote se business. Sometimes their mummy and daddy pass it on to them, but whatever it is, they've made it bigger and they're entrepreneurs. So ye sabse sochne ki baat ye hai, that those who achieve great success are generally not working for anyone else. And hence, entrepreneurship is what you should be thinking about. And entrepreneurs, where is Pakistan's look? Let's talk about this. How many years have you been studying? How many 
कितने सालों से पढ़ रहे सम यू स्टिल फिनिशिंग योर स्टडीज इसके बाद वट लाइज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट किसी सेठ की नौकरी करेंगे पंद्रह हजार रूपये दे देगा बीस हजार रूपये दे देगा पांच छह साल के बाद पांच हजार तनख्वाह शायद बढ़ा दे इफ यू शी फील्स लाइक इट इज दिस वट यू इन्वेस्टेड फिफ्टीन और सिक्सटीन ईयर्स टू डू सो दैट यू कुड वर्क विम सेठ और हिज इज दैट द फ्यूचर यू वॉन्ट फॉर योर सेल्फ साठ साल की उम्र में आपकी तनख्वाह शायद बढ़ के कोई डेढ़ दो लाख तक पहुंच जाएगी Is that what you want? Entrepreneurship for people in Pakistan like you is not something you should actually have to think very hard about because it's not an option. It's really the only realistic choice you have. या तो किसी की नौकरी करेंगे दस पंद्रह हजार रुपए में धक्के खाएंगे सुबह से रात तक काम करेंगे और you can do the same धक्कास for yourself with the expectation that you will actually get breakthrough and you will become much more successful. If you have enough confidence, if you have faith in your ability, then there is no other option but to actually do this for yourself. Or, you know, we all talk about whenever I talk to young people, everyone talks about doing good for Pakistan or inshallah, I'm going to do something, etc. And I'm all for it because I do exactly the same thing. But you must, whenever you're talking about startups, whenever you're talking about building a business, you must not understate the importance of money. Without money, nothing will happen. That's why there's so many accountants in the room. पैसा नहीं होगा प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च नहीं होगी प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च नहीं होगी टीम नहीं आएगी उसको मार्केट कैसे करेंगे सो लेट्स फोकस ऑन द फाइनेंशियल लॉट मोर देन सम ऑफ यू सीम टू बी फोकसिंग एट द मोमेंट बट यू नो व्हाट आई लव अबाउट द आईटी इंडस्ट्री व्हाट आई लव अबाउट आईटी और टेक्नोलॉजी जनरली इट डज नॉट डिस्क्रिमिनेट हम पाकिस्तान में रहते हैं इफ यू प्रोड्यूस समथिंग गुड वर्ल्ड क्लास People will start buying it regardless of your race, religion, or color, or the color of your passport. That is the beautiful thing about technology. A cheap thing is going to be made. Everyone will want it, which is not what we can say about other things in life. But at least it's a great level that is okay. Technology gives you that edge. Pakistan me back here, we can be marketing things elsewhere in countries where you may not get a visa. So there is. The tremendous opportunity. That's why I am so so excited about IT. Like now, given you all the you know motivational stuff, let's do some reality checks as well. Okay. Now, this is Islamabad. This is Islamabad. This is not the Silicon Valley. Camera ke baad venture capital is not there. No angel investor is not there. So you have all these ideas. Where are we going to take them once the weekend is over? Because basically, for that, much is not done. And you know, I have attended so many of these. Uh, Uh, events and uh, I work with Afka Technology, Naska Technology Incubation Center. I sit with them, I work with them. I plan nine with them, be involved with them. I go everywhere, even in the Middle East as well. But the point is, without money, you cannot take these things anywhere. Yes, all the many ideas I have and those that are going to come, you need investment. Now, let's be realistic. No angel investor will come to Pakistan. I don't mean to discourage you, but eight years ago, I was. They crown, but we know one wants to invest in startups because of the risks, because of the our past of the culture being banana, and people are just not willing to give money to young people for lots of reasons, right? So, my advice to you as both an accountant, entrepreneur, etc., etc., is to plan your business in a way that you can execute it without necessarily needing capital from outside. In any case, if you give, uh, if you want capital, people will want something in return. If you have just an idea, or you're at very early stage, you have to give up quite a lot of your equity. ऐसे तो कोई पैसा नहीं आपको देगा. It's not charity. They will want equity. They want a piece of your business. But if these 40-50 percent तो आप शुरू में दे देंगे, then you have nothing left. If you succeed, you will be effectively working for the state again, which is not what we want. अच्छा, I was listening to Michael Gerber the other day. Michael Gerber is the guy who wrote the book The E Myth, one of the best-selling and most uh, acclaimed books when it comes to entrepreneurship. You must read it if you have a chance. Michael Gerber said, "Pucha, what do you think about IT people starting businesses?" Zara bahut kare. It's not as poetic as to share a best scenario, but baat wazan ki hai. Michael Gerber said, "Pucha, kya? Ki what do you think about all these IT people? So it's people like you he's talking about." What do you think about them starting a business? He said these people are not entrepreneurs. These people are technicians having an entrepreneurial seizure. Some of them are entrepreneurs, but all they are is technicians. 
Now, when I say to you, I share some of my experiences uh, since I'm the chairman of an IT company, very right? small one, tiny little company. And they convinced me and investors from all over the world to make a panel. We have also invested in it, but they only had one product. When they started selling it, they had to pay for the money, but nobody wanted to buy it. So then we were stuck. What do we do now? But thankfully, because they had access to people like us, we were able to help them at least survive for another six months by getting them other kinds of projects, other kinds of work. So ये भी सोचने की बात है. Things never go according to plan. Okay, finally, if you have a great, great idea, if you have a good idea, if you believe in the idea, because सबसे पहले तो आप ही believe करेंगे ना. अगर आप में self belief नहीं है, you don't think the idea is a good one, then nobody else is going to buy. So let's assume कि you believe in this, you have the passion, and all those things that you said. Then think about why you should not take this idea any further. There's every reason to go ahead, give it a try. Because what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? You may have to lose three months, six months, maybe even one year of your, what could have been paid employment at a massive salary of $150 per month. Which has that happened. What have you lost? One year? And with due respect to all the universities in Pakistan, that will be worth much more value than any MBA that you could actually take, undertake either in Pakistan or elsewhere. और मजे की बात ये है कि एक साल की आपकी opportunity cost ही है और थोड़ी सी शायद investment भी लग जाए, but it's still far cheaper than the MBA that you would have paid for. लम्स में MBA करेंगे तो अच्छा खासे पैसे देंगे, नस्ट्रस नस्ट्रस is relatively less expensive, but bottom line is the idea behind education is to learn. Okay, degrees we collect are not only in Pakistan, but also in Pakistan. You need a real education, and that comes from getting the hard knocks. Okay, now, technology or innovation, I leave you with a couple of thoughts. A couple of thoughts. Generally, it's not about technology. Companies that are the most innovative and they're the first ones to come up with new technologies are not the ones who generally benefit from it. It's the second or third company which benefits from it. कोई किताब पढ़ लें, पढ़ लें, जिन कॉल किए किताब पढ़ लें, उसमें भी वो यही कहता है। So it's not about the technology. Another book that you should read is the Blue Ocean Strategy. It's not about coming up with something new. Most of the time, what happens is you know which market we have. It's just a matter of taking it, tweaking it, modifying it, presenting it in a different way, and becoming successful. And generally, companies that are most successful are those which take other people's ideas, build upon it, modify them, and take them to the next level. Okay, just this way or can it? But it's not just about technology. And the business aspect cannot be understood. So, why not to be called a... Well, you've been given a wonderful offer by the sponsoring organization. You will get free support. That's a wonderful thing. With that help, you will go far. If you'd like to reach out to me, you can find me on everything. Twitter, Facebook, and just do a Google on Amir Qureshi. I'll be the first one that comes up. Thank you very much. We were not tracking you, so we'll have one more brief talk here. Um, it's by somebody um, uh, who I have personally witnessed inspiring people for the past two decades. All the way from uh, when I was graduating um, uh, and since then. I think he's probably one of those people who has created the most impact in both education and entrepreneurial ecosystem alike. Um, it's my really big honor to invite Dr. Shwe to come here and say hello. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, entrepreneurship or starting your own business. Uh, इन्होंने काफी अच्छी उसकी रेलेवेंस क्रिएटेड द पोइट्री मुझे भी एक तो जस्ट वो एक्सटेंड हिस टॉक इंटर तो नियोजन जो है फ्रॉम माय पर्सपेक्टिव इट्स अ पैशन ये एक जनून है नो और वो जनून जो है ना इंसान में नजर आना चाहिए इफ यू आर स्टैंडिंग हियर मेकिंग योर प्रेजेंटेशन 
you know, there has to be that passion and genuine in you, so that anybody who is listening would understand, okay, what you are saying, you actually believe in that. It's not just a competition where you have prepared a speech and you are making that speech. No? But entrepreneurship, ki, innovation, ki jo hamare, is so we just keep talking about a, a, a knowledge-based economy. Okay, humne hi is cheez ko create karna aur uske liye do cheeze zaruri hain jisa kisi ka share hai ke fasile jism par taza lagho ke cheete hain hadood e waqt se aage nikal gaya hai janu these are the two things which are perhaps important uh, to be an entrepreneur. You know, if you're just you know just presenting ideas which have been tried and tested so many times, then you're not really creating anything new. So to be known and to really do something great, you've got to come up with new ideas. So now this is what Iqbal is saying ke, aapne, if you want the world to follow you, you've got to be creative, you've got to be innovative, you've got to create something new. But then you get the passion, you get the passion. So when you get the two things, you don't stop dreams. You don't stop dreams. You don't stop dreams. You don't stop dreams. Because nothing, you know, think big, think out of the box. So think big, think out of the box. And then, you try to do it. You don't fail more. Just now, one of our close friends, who is a smoker, he says, never believe a quitter. You know? So, internship is like that. Honestly. आप फेल होंगे पांच साल नौकरी करेंगे लेकिन ये जो आप में एक जनून आ जाएगा जो आप में एक वो उसका तो उस चीज को एक्सपेरिमेंट करने का जो मजा आएगा ना यू विल डेफिनेटली आर गोइंग टू कम बैक टू इट या सो दिस इज परहेप्स द बेस्ट टाइम यू आर आउट ऑफ स्कूल गिव इट अ टाइम परहेप्स 90% ऑफ द केसेस यू विल फेल ओके and 10% would pass, but at least if we 100 people try only you know, 10 will pass and even if you don't don't be discouraged. Inshallah, in my life, there are many people who have been sitting here. I know so many people who have actually tried their own company, work for us for a while. They have tried to do it, they have tried to do it, they have tried to do it. When we started, we have made a lot of big company. 17 million dollars in venture funding. 17 million dollars sitting in Pakistan, inventing something which was big. World highest agency media processor chip. And he was part of our team and many were part of our team. A product, a world class product, 9-11 happened, market crash, we could not sell, ran out of funding. We were just standing outside the building without any money in our pocket. This is what internship is. Zafar says that this is a game that you play in the game, which you play in the 99 and you play in the 99 and you play in the 99 and you play in the 99. So we started Alhamdulillah, we are doing good, we are doing great and it is only because you have to just keep trying. So thank you very much. So we'll get back to our pitching sessions. The next team is scale creator, and the team after that is human trafficking. So human trafficking guys, you should you guys should stay ready. And and right now, scale creator, please please come on the stage. And 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 while they do, I think I have to reply to other stuff because if anything, I've been blamed for being too focused and not too distracted. And and as they share growth, who हम मोहब्बत में भी तौहीद के कायल हैं पराग एक ही स्टार्टअप को महबूब बनाए रखें।
ये फर्स्ट टाइम तभी किस्म का हमारा चार्टा वीकेंड में जा रहे हैं और इसका असर में सब का सब ये अवैध साफ हो जाता है Okay, I guess we have some uh, problem with the presentation. And meanwhile, can the next team come over? Uh, which was the next team? Are they in So this is uh, human trafficking. Assalamualaikum. Uh, basically, uh, I started with human packaging, but then after the two-day session, we reached to humans found lost platform. Help. Basically, this is the way uh, we will travel. I will uh, state the existing reporting system, what are problems with this, uh, where my application fit in, what is the concept of operations, and a little about business model and financial management. Basically, what happens when a human loss? Normally, the relatives go to the police station, go to the newspaper, go to the media, go to the web, and go to the loudspeakers. Yesterday, I had to announce that they had to announce that. After that, it will be dead. What are the problems with this system? The police just understand that there is no event for us to report. We don't have to discuss that in my opinion. We don't have to discuss what is their mechanism. न्यूज़पेपर अफोर्डेबिलिटी का मसला है मीडिया का भी है वेब जो है वो लाइव नहीं है एंड लॉस स्पीकर्स हैव लिमिटेड स्कोप एंड व्हाट ऑल दिस शेयर द प्रॉब्लम इज कि उनका लाइफ स्पैन क्या है आप रिपोर्ट करते हैं उसके बाद एक दो दिन के बाद सारी चीजें रिटेट हो जाती हैं नथिंग इज वर्किंग एक्सेप्ट द विक्टम्स एंड द बिगेस्ट थिंग इज वेयर इज द फाउंड रिपोर्टिंग वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ द लॉस रिपोर्टिंग ऑल द टाइम सो दिस इज वेयर My opinion, humans found lost platform. Basically, how it will work, uh, initially uh, a human is lost, a relative will visit the reporting place, they will provide pictures and the details they have, information will be up uh, updated, uh, uploaded to lost global database. This was the step from the relative side, they have done what they can. The next step is help found reporting. This is this is the way. The best way is there are two ways. The best way is the train stuff stop scan the lost destinations. Everyone who is lost, he either is to ya wo basali pe kaam kar raha hoga, bachcha hoga, ya jiska rehni ka wajud khraab hai, wo kisi platform pe bhi kaam kar raha hoga, ya bhi kaalo ka jo network hota hai, unka kaam kar raha. या किसी भट्टे के ऊपर वो काम कर रहा होगा तो ट्रेन साफ जो है वो अपने इलाके में जो मोस्टली एनजीओ वाले होंगे वो ऐसी जगह जाएंगे और उनकी पिक्चर्स ले लेंगे एक पिक्चर्स वाया मोबाइल जो हमारी ऐप है उसके बाद वो उसको अपलोड करेंगे फाउंड का जो ग्लोबल डेटाबेस है द मोस्ट रिफर्ड वे विल बी दैट यू एम्पावर द पब्लिक एवरीबॉडी who has a smartphone can use that as freely. Or if they are brave enough, they can take pictures from every place while moving in their daily time. The third section is the image processing. The main server is running all the time. The police who report the loss of the report, there is no action on it. Every time a loss is reported, every time a phone is reported, that database is active for the whole span. हमारे जो लॉस रिपोर्टिंग मैकेनिज्म वो ज़्यादा दस पंद्रह दिन के लिए चलता है, but this will be live all the time. 
अगर मैच उसको कोई मिलता है या एक्सपेक्टेड मैच वो फाउंड होता है तो इन्फॉर्मेशन इज कन्वेड टू द रिपोर्टिंग प्लेस एंड दे विल कॉन्टेक्ट द रिलेटिव ऑफ दैम टू गो टू दैक्स्ट लेवल सो दिस इज हाउ द होल थिंग इज वर्किंग लाइक हु विल बी द यूजर्स रिलेटिव ऑफ मिसिंग पर्सन एनजीओस गवर्नमेंट पब्लिक हाउ वी विल सस्टेन प्राइवेट ओनर्स मोस्टली the the thing uh, the, the thing that uh, the, the money that is coming to ngos and from un organization and other things also who are facilitated with this application they uh, the victims service can also have help in that and uh, we will uh, like uh, how will we do sort of i don't call it like advertisement but it's awareness that we will use social media awareness campaigns localized campaigns <laughs> and community <laughs> events and uh, initial development time we have estimated 2 months and solution will cost us 0.5 million and uh, operation cost per month uh, currently we see that it's 0.1 million per month
Can we have uh, toys versus games? Toys versus games, uh, Mr. Just about when your team have already played. I will be presenting on the topic Choice versus Game. A couple of days ago, I read this on a New York Times blog. The iPad is a magic electronic babysitter that creates instant peace in the household. The dad is obviously annoyed. Kids spend hours on mindless entertainment applications like Temple Run, Angry Birds, Traffic Racers, etc. Even educational apps keep the kids glued to the tablets. Such games have poor storytelling and do not nurture the child's imagination. So what is it that these games take away from children? Games provide the ex-users with a structured experience. It has rules, dynamics, mechanics and a reward system. However, this restricts the child's imagination. He or she cannot think outside the game. When we were kids, I could become, when we were kids, we could become soldiers just by holding a toy gun. We would become a knight just by holding a magic, uh, a magic wooden stick. And then, they, we were in, were involved in our imaginative role playing game. And this helps, and study shows that this helps in uh, reducing aggression and increasing empathy. Also nowadays, parents are less involved with kids. So toys versus games. The idea here is to provide kids with a structured experience that is gaming and also unstructured experience that is play. To allow kids to take structured instructions and perform unstructured activities with the involvement of their parents. The idea is to encourage role playing and to uh, keep the children interacting with the uh, physical surroundings and to help them explore. And here is the basic prototype of the implementation of the idea. I present Cognitica. This is the uh, interface of the application with various roles.
Now, the, there were a few key differentiating points you might have noticed. It had multiple and interactive role play. There were many roles that Chai could play and he chose the one to be a spy. There was also a dance supervision. The guy on the screen asked if the spy commander was with him or not. The child is encouraged to be involved with the surroundings of the, of the surroundings and he is motivated to explore. There is an element of augmented reality to keep him wondering. The kid is actually interacting with the real world. Here are the financials of the next six months we planned. We planned. The total cost we calculated was 2.85 million, which uh, included mostly of the software team. And the revenue model is the NR purchases, and we uh, will get uh, one dollar for each role that it is playing. The market is that 75 percent of the uh, 75 percent of Americans under the age of eight have access to smartphones and tablets, and uh, break even if 0.71 million users buy four to play for one dollar each. 